Something about the way you just give me my heart blue. I see he needs some milk. <laughs> Coco girl, you better watch out, girl. JK, no disrespect to the queen. <laughs> Do y'all know how hard it is for me to fit my forehead in a video? It's so hard. I am so mad that I got this egg shaped head from my father because why the forehead gotta, why I gotta do that? What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tyler on the Duff and I'm back with another video. Go ahead and like this video, comment and subscribe if you are new. Um, Y'all, this is just a little quick update video. I know I kind of just, I kind of just, uh. In my last video, I kind of just uh, dumped some shit out there and just hope for the best. I want you guys to know, honestly, I am doing amazing. Outside of the vitamin D deficiency that I actually just got diagnosed with, so now I'm on some vitamin D pills. Cause I'm over here like, why do I have motivation to do absolutely nothing? It gotta be the depression, ADHD, whatever. I'm actually on meds for that too. Aside from that, I'm doing that because I'm trying to get better and take care of myself. I neglected myself for so long that I need external help, you know? And I'm glad that now I'm seeking that. I know I've been kind of saying on my channel, oh, I'm getting help or I'm getting better, like since like 2021, but I'm genuinely getting better now. I can feel it in my soul. I feel it in my mind. I feel it in my heart. Just overall, everything is really, really good. And it sucks that from my past situations, I mean, even, in, and it's been less than a year, you know, from my past situations over the course of a few years, um, that can take a toll on you. I appreciate a lot of you guys that came from my last video talking about my toxic relationship, how a lot of you opened up to me. So many of you followed me on social media and actually like DM'd me about your current situations and how you guys understand exactly where I'm coming from. And not only does that help me, like it reassures me that I'm not alone, but it should also reassure you guys that you're not alone. Like, I know that I have a platform and that I can, you know, I have a voice to speak, but a lot of people go through, you know, relationship abuse in many different forms. It doesn't all, oh, Lord, all this hair, Lord Jesus, just please excuse me. I just woke up out of bed. But a lot of people go through this, you know, and, you're not alone. Relationship abuse doesn't just have to be physical. It is emotional, it's mental. Like all these things can have an impact on your health. What helped me throughout this process is that I finally told myself that enough is enough. And I finally decided to take steps for me, not entertain my abusers. And my first step to healing was actually acknowledging that something was wrong. Like why did I keep on entertaining certain things? Like, why did I find myself in the same situation over and over and over again with the same person or the same type of people? And it was mainly because I was allowing it, you know? And at a certain point I was denying like how I could play a role in something so severe to my mental, emotional, and physical health. I also have to take accountability for myself. You may never get that sorry or accountability from your abusers, to be honest with you, because they just feel shit about themselves too. Like I feel bad, you know, and narcissists love taking advantage of good people. You know, narcissists, they kind of just come in like, doo -doo 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 -doo. hey, and then they ruin your life. Don't let that happen. I know some of y'all are telling me like, oh, I'm in a narcissistic relationship as well. Sis, I need you to get out of that, <laughs> like today. After I learned to accept that I was engaging in toxicity. I felt lost. I felt really, really, really lost. Um, it felt like I didn't know. I feel like I didn't know who I was. Like I completely lost me. Damn, that's kind of deep. I realized like, what were my hobbies? What did I like outside of this relationship? My self-esteem wasn't there. I felt like I was just empty. I felt like I was drained and exhausted out of my existence. And I think that's what put me further into depression 
And talking about it now makes me, you know, I, I have these conversations with myself, but now saying it on the internet, it's kind of, it makes me feel deeper about it because I have such a big heart. So knowing that people have to go through certain situations like this, it makes me sad. So I don't want to get all emotional on camera, so I'm not going to. I lost myself. So now my journey and what I've come so far in within these past few months was building up my self-esteem, finding out what did I like before this relationship, especially you know, a lot of stuff happened behind the scenes where, you know, I was told that I wasn't shit. I'm not going to get too much into detail because <laughs> I don't want to trigger anybody. But hearing that and experiencing that all the time, you, you just really start to hate yourself. So anybody that's going through this, you are worth it, seriously. And you need to start building up those foundations and those barriers for yourself again. Figure out what it is that you love figure out who you are because I lost who Thailand was, but now I'm gaining back who Thailand, who Thailand is. That's what's helping me a lot more too, you know, going to the gym, doing like little things that I like to do. I play League of Legends, by the way. I play League of Legends, you know, going to the gym. I like being outside. I mean, although my vitamin D deficiency says otherwise, it's just because I lacked doing stuff like that. Everything, I've been sober. It's only been two weeks, but I'm telling y'all, this is the, the hellish two weeks I've ever had to be through i'm just kidding <laughs> i've been through worse in life trust me but like gosh being sober and having to face life oh my gosh that sucks <laughs> it's not fun there are people out there that will treat you better and i had to realize that there are people that treat me better um i don't know if y'all saw my newest short but yes i am in another relationship it's on the down low and we're taking it slow you know i don't know if any of y'all had questions because i put that we were talking for like a year and then we've been dating for eight months, but you know how it contrasts in between what happened to my, not my longest relationship, but my previous situationship. But it's because like, if you're in a situationship, I started to, you know, I didn't leave the other people that I was talking to alone because I realized this situationship was probably not gonna go anywhere. But once I started finding myself and found somebody who actually truly appreciates me and loves me for me, uh, of course, I'm going to indulge in that. You know, I want to see how far it goes. I'm learning to keep my relationships low key. Not this, not fully discreet, but low key. <laughs> it is not your responsibility to build someone else's self-esteem. As kind hearted as you can be, it is not your responsibility to build your significant other self-esteem. And on another note, narcissists will make you feel like you are crazy. Look at me, look at me in my eyeballs. Narcissists will make you feel like you're crazy. You're not crazy. Don't let them gaslight you. I'm showing you guys these screenshots so that you guys can see that narcissists will pretty much say anything in order to get you back. They'll love bomb you, say that I miss you and stuff like that. And you know, your initial thought would be they're trying to fight for this relationship, you know? And although there are people that will actually try and fight for a relationship. Not all relationships are worth fighting for, especially if things get physical, especially if there's mental, emotional, and physical abuse there. Um, and I used to fall into these traps a lot, like the whole, oh my God, I miss you, like you look good, like I love you. And then whenever you go back to them, then all hell breaks loose behind closed doors. You know, and eventually you really got to start thinking like, is this something that I really want to entertain? Is this something healthy? Is this going to launch me into, you know, something better in the future? I don't understand how, you know, people can just say like hurtful things and throw subliminals and shade to you and then turn around and do things with your friend. You know, like it's it's funny because these text messages are only just a couple weeks apart. It is okay to hold your significant other accountable. You're not crazy for pointing out things that are harming you. I am doing great though. Um, I don't know if y'all saw my community tab post, but although I didn't have a car for eight months because I got into a, na a car accident in uh, March of 2022, uh, my car was totaled. Um, it was in a shop for eight months before they decided to total it. Can you believe that? I bought my dream car. I bought my BMW. I've always wanted a BMW. It is a beautiful car. Oh my God. I am living, living on my own. Um, I'm becoming more financially stable. I'm becoming emotionally stable. Like, I don't know where exactly I would be at if it wasn't for like, you know, my platform. I don't think the people that watch me truly understand 
how much joy this actually brings me. I'm doing great. And for anybody else who has gotten out of a situation like this or who is currently in a situation like this, I will say it again, through the grace of God, know your self-worth. Not saying that every relationship is going to be perfect because it's not. We're all going to have our little toxic moments, but we're supposed to work through it, you know? But thank you guys for tuning in to this little update video. And here in my concert at the beginning, did you like that? Yeah, I may turn into a little singing channel. <laughs> I'm totally, totally joking. But anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in to my little update video. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.